Round in this uh, <clears throat> final night of the El Dorado Holiday Tournament. I'm Roger Hobbs alongside Cole Carter. As we get ready for the uh, fifth place game between the Vienna Eagles and the Anna Jonesboro Wildcats. Let's look at uh, Vienna, how they got here. They started out with a win over Edwards County by a score of 68 to 58. Then they fell to Massac County, 58-51. That moved them into this morning's game where they surprised El uh, Carterville. 70 to 62, so Vienna moves into this game with a 10 and four mark. And they will take on the Wildcats of Anna Jonesboro. Jonesboro came in the seventh seed, rolled over El Dorado by a score of 73 to 46, got surprised by Carmi last night, 47 to 38, and then slipped past Fairfield this morning, 55-45. So AJ comes into this game with a record of seven wins and eight losses. Uh, Vianna was the number uh, four seed. AJ was the number seven seed. And so we're getting ready for uh, some basketball here uh, this evening. And uh, boy, we've had some games here this afternoon. Uh, had a little fiasco in the uh, Hamilton County game as they won over uh, El Dorado by a score of 60 to 49. And uh, the third place game will be coming up here a little bit. It'll be Harrisburg over Carmi White County. The, Bulldogs lost a tough one to Heron, 36-35. And uh, the championship game will be at Massac County as they ramrodded Harrisburg, 68-34. So we had some close games, had some blowouts, and uh, tonight should be a pretty decent ball game. Yeah, it's been an interesting tournament. A lot of these games, uh, uh, you know, one possession scores. Uh, you think about the last two games Heron's played in, uh, escaping some BDC teams in the final seconds. Uh, they're going to play Massac for the third straight year tonight in the championship. But a good chance for some other teams to bring home some hardware. Just saw Hamilton County escape in the uh, Constellation Championship. Congrats to Doug Miller and his squad. And uh, we'll see who can bring home the fifth place trophy. Yeah, you know, this is, uh, it's been a long three days. But, uh, you know, you look forward to it. And even though we're kind of winding down, you kind of hate to see it over in a way. I mean, we've seen some good ball games. And the thing I like about it, and I made this comment before, we love the old uh, homecoming atmosphere. You see people you haven't seen in a long time. Yeah, it's a tradition down here. And if you want to explain it to somebody who's not from Southern Illinois, it's kind of hard to do. You got to experience it for yourself. And uh, it's always great to see these kids, you know, these freshmen through seniors, getting out here in front of a big crowd. Most of them biggest crowd they have ever played in or will ever play in front of. Uh, just been a great tournament overall. Well, again, it's going to be number four seed Vianna against number seven seed Anna Jonesboro. They will play for the fifth place trophy. And, you know, some <coughs> people, you get to this situation, you say, well, who cares? you got a small crowd. But, uh, you know, the winner of this game comes out of the tournament, they go three and one. Something to write home about. Yeah, absolutely. And, and you know, it's always complicated because these two teams, they won their first round matchups, and it was close losses in the second round. So we said this morning that that fifth place semifinal is always a tough game to try to get yourself motivated to play because you're still kind of you know, upset that you lost last night and now, okay, is fifth place really that important? But you know, when you play basketball, this place is going to get full because people got to get here early and get parked, get a seat. Uh, it's going to be a big crowd. So if I'm one of these players, I just want to play well, play for pride, and still have a chance to bring home hardware. Yeah, no question about that, especially for seniors. Hey, you know, this is their last EHT, and they yep. want something to remember. Absolutely. So it'll be uh, Vianna and Jonesboro. We'll uh, take about a four-minute break, come back and look at the starting lineups and get this game underway. Show your Saluki pride. Get your Vantara Saluki Visa debit card today, and your purchases will contribute to an SIU scholarship. Plus, use your card to get special offers at Vantara Center and other Saluki athletic events. Getting the card is easy. Just open a Saluki checking account or Saluki interest checking account at Vantara Bank. No ATM fees and more than 55,000 ATMs plus other great benefits. Stop by Vantara to learn more. Vantara, proud supporter of SIU. Member FDIC. Terms and conditions apply. See branch for details. I decided to attend SIC because of the great scholarship that I was awarded. I received an archery scholarship. I'm taking IT cybersecurity. My favorite part of the IT program is definitely going to class every day. Professor Scott makes it really fun and he lets us do a lot of hands-on things and that helps me learn a lot. My experience on the archery team, so far I love it. The people are great, the archery coach is awesome. Be a part of the action at SIC. 
You don't live to bank, you bank to live. And that's why so many of our customers rely on First Mid for much more than banking alone. Beyond everyday financial services, we're a valued partner and advisor with the help and resources for the things you need and whatever you aspire to achieve. So whether you're buying groceries or budgeting your dream kitchen, protecting your life's work, or laying the foundation for life after work, we're your bank for everything in the middle of anything. We're First Mid. First Mid Bank and Trust. Member FDIC. Equal housing lender. In 1925, when Farrell Hospital opened, they knew that families in El Dorado and the surrounding communities needed a hospital they could depend on, close to home. Over the years, Farrell grew to meet the needs of patients. Today, Farrell Hospital has grown to offer advanced emergency care, orthopedics, cancer, surgery, imaging, lab, and more, always keeping more care right here close to home. Farrell Hospital. You can depend on us. The countdown is on. Enjoy the Karmai Eclipse Festival featuring Eddie Montgomery. Oh, this is my time. The Front Men. Maybe I'm amazed by you Drew Baldridge and Tailgate Revival. See somebody's dog. Saturday, April 6th at Burl's Woods Bicentennial Park. Visit CarMyFest.com for tickets and more information. 2023 is almost over. That means it's time for Expressway 4's year-end sales event. Like brand new 2023 F-150 starting at $36,990 plus 2.9% APR for 72 months. With special year-end pricing on all new F-150 crew cabs. Prices so low, we are not allowed to say. Go to ExpresswayFordOnline.com to see them. Now is the time to get the best deal on a new Ford from Expressway Ford in Mount Vernon. Expressway Ford, more Fords for less. At Top Shelf Discounters, the business model is simple. High quality, brand new home furnishings at discounted prices. Top Shelf Discounters, 215 North Walnut in Carmine. Open Saturdays 10 to 2 and by appointment. Find Top Shelf Discounters on Facebook for promotions and giveaways. Conquer the cold this winter at your local Hux Market. Earn big rewards with the Hux Bucks loyalty program and save on fuel, in-store specials, and even catering. Download the free Hux Bucks app today and enjoy a large big swig or coffee for just 99 cents. When you think of home, you think of warmth, comfort, and peace of mind. And that's exactly what you get when you choose propane from FS. With propane from Wabash Valley Service Company, you get our well-trained professional staff along with an array of products and services designed to ensure that your propane system is functioning properly and efficiently. Add to this a variety of convenient terms and ways to save money, and you've got the right solution to all your home energy needs. Call Wabash Valley Service Company today or visit fspropane.com for more information. All right, just uh, concluded the national anthem and uh, had a young lady sing uh, the national anthem usually in the morning. It's a, a taped uh, recording of the Star Spangled Banner, but in the other games, it's been uh, alive. And I think we alluded to the afternoon session. There was a little first grade girl from Aiken. I think it was for Aiken grade school that saying now sometimes she didn't get all the words just right and that's okay that's fine oh my she hit great job what do you call it a high C <laughs> I mean she had she hit some high notes there that she's got a big roof at the top of her mouth so uh, getting ready uh, to start this and we want to take this time to uh, thank all of our sponsors this and every year for making our coverage of the holiday tournament possible but especially these top tier sponsors if not for them <laughs> There's simply no way we'd be able to bring you live picture and audio as it happens from the 59th edition of the EHT. That includes Farrell Hospital, Wabash Valley Service Company, by Banterra Bank, Extreme Welding and Machine Services, Skates Valley Irrigation and SGI Trucking, and our state farm agents, Doug Rayburn, Albion, and James Cook in Carmi. And all we can say is thank you, thank you, thank you. And then all of our sponsors, and you made the... Uh, Sometime, I don't know if we mentioned it on the air, but after the first two days, we had something like 50,000. Yes, we, we, we've got up, up towards over 60,000 people who have either watched every game or stopped and watched for a few minutes. But overall, the feedback has been great. And uh, thanks to, like you said, all of our sponsors. Big thanks to all of our crew members who have worked uh, hours upon hours the last three days uh, to make sure these streams go smoothly as possible. Uh, can't, can't say that enough. It takes a village. And... Thankful for everybody, including oh, you, Roger. Oh, well, shucks, ma'am. 
No, but I've had people come up to, I know you have too, yep. that have no idea who they are, where they're from, and said, hey, you guys are doing a great job. We yep. appreciate your coverage. And, you know, I'm proud of the fact that uh, we're the only station to live stream all 26 ball games. Yeah, it's, it's something that, you know, we started last year. It was the first year of us doing video. It went over great. We stepped it up this year, and, and it's been fantastic. All right, we'll take a 60-second break and be back for uh, the starting lineups. Sin Energy Partners provide fuel, workants, and propane across the tri-state, offering price risk management, hedging programs, remote tank monitoring, and more. Ask about propane budget program and scheduled deliveries. Call David South today, 812-774-6529. Evil Light Creative Studio in Carmine is a full-service communications and design consultancy. We are excited to make your design project a reality. Reach out to us to see how we can create something amazing together all within your budget. Evil Light Creative Studio, what can we create with you? Big City Services in a small town. That's Butch and Associates CPAs. Providing superior client service to folks here at home and across the U.S. Taxes and bookkeeping, accounting and audit services, plus full service consulting. Butch and Associates CPAs, where expertise meets excellence. At Butch and Associates, it's your journey backed by our commitment. Visit butch.com to learn more and contact us today. All right, looking here at <clears throat> getting the announcing starting lineups for the Wildcats of Anna Jonesboro. You know, I, don't, I think they've got to be a, a little disappointed. They start out at gangbusters with a big win over El Dorado and then uh, struggled past to get uh, close to Carmi, 47-38. And, uh, you know, then this morning uh, put on a little late rally to beat the Fairfield by 10. But doesn't look like the same team we saw the very first night. No, they're, they're a talented team. Coach Jemis does a great job. And like you said, they came out and played very well in night number one against El Dorado. Carmine played great defensively against them last night. They struggled. Uh, but a nice comeback win earlier today against Fairfield. And now they're playing for a chance to bring home a trophy. All right, for the Wildcats, Atlanta Jones, will be number three, Taj Hodges. He is a junior at 5'11", along with Drew Page, 10. Well, we're number 10, a 5'9", senior, J.J. Girardi. A 6'3 senior will wear 11, Dylan Harville. You'll hear that name a lot. Will wear number 12. He's also a senior at 5'10. And a big man in the middle at number 30 <laughs> is Noah Cavins, a 6'5 senior. So the Wildcats will go with Paige, Girardi, Harville, and Cavins. Four seniors and a junior coached by Mike Chemnis. You know, what a class act he is. And tremendous athlete, played for A.J. a long time ago and played in this tournament. And a big Michigan Wolverine fan, I hear. Okay. Probably not big a fan as some people are of the, of the Steelers. <laughs> now you got that right. Okay. All right, for the uh, Eagles of Vienna, it's going to be Dayton Nichols, a 6'2 senior, along with number 11, Hunter Webb, a junior at six feet, Mark Hanton. Marcanto Costanti, a six-foot senior. Owen Treat at 6'2", and Buddy Clay, a 6'2", senior. So uh, Coach Steven Dreher will go with four seniors and a junior, and Nichols, Webb, Constante, Treat, and Clay. So again, uh, Vianna giving up a little size. Uh, Kevin's at 6'5", and, but Buddy Clay he comes in at 6'2", and he plays about like a 6'5", soft touch under the goal. Yeah, he does a good job of working before he gets the basketball in his hand. And when they pass it to him down low, very quick at turning and shooting. So, uh, like I said, not the tallest guy on the floor, but very good touch around the rim and physical down low. A.J. going to our right. <clears throat> they will be in the dark blue trimmed in white. Vianna in their home white trimmed in blue and red. And the tip goes to the Vianna Eagles. And right away, we're going to get a foul. It's going to go against A.J. as uh, J.J. Girardi ran over Owen Treat as he started to get the basketball. Only took us four seconds to get our first foul of the evening session. We had one game this, I don't know if you were with me, two seconds we had a foul. <laughs> so here we go, Vianna Eagles with the basketball. Here is Owen Treat. He's going to stop, pop, and get him going. Owen Treat gets the Vianna <coughs> on the board, and here come the Wildcats. Dylan Harville comes with it on the right side, goes top of the key to Cavins. Now the right side coming around the screen. Nowhere to go is Hodges. Down low, they go inside with it. And a turnaround by Noah Cavins. And all of a sudden, it's two to two. This may be a run and gun type thing. Noah Cavins has had a really good tournament. Owen Street will go on the left side as they look at into that A.J. man-to-man -man defense. 
trying to drive is Constante. Go in the corner with it to Nichols. Owen Treat. He sees a hole, close between the legs, stops at the free throw lane. Gives down in the corner to Webb, and he's going to fire a three. And Nick and Hunter Webb puts Vianna up five to two. Here is Harville. He leaves it for Girardi. Back to Harville. Thought about a three. Man defense. And he's going to take a three. It's going to go off the rim. And Clay will clear for the Eagles. Lead pass up to Constante in the corner. Webb is going to try and drive off the glass. Vianna three for three from the field so far here in the first quarter. Vianna likes to run and gun. They're averaging over 70 a game, or right at 70. With the basketball, they come with it on the right side. Top of the key is Page in the corner. Brings it back out. Hodges going to try and reload the gun. He'll work against Nichols in a one-on-one -on -one contest. Girardi goes with it on the right side. Down low in the cabins, and Clay has got him shut off. And we're going to get a whistle, and a foul is going to go against the Eagles of Vienna. Well, Clay did a good job, like you said, shutting him off down uh, below the block. Constante came from the backside trying to strip him and got him on the arm. A.J. to inbound it. Looks and looks. And goes way up front to Hodges in the jump circle. Hodges being picked up there by Nichols. A.J. trying to get their offense set. We've got conflict. We've got a foul against Buddy Clay. And the referee heard the whistle. And Clay looked around and said, who was that foul on? <laughs> said I was nowhere near that. Yeah. If I was, I didn't mean to be. They lob it in to Girardi. Way out front. Now trying to drive his page. Ball slapped away. It's run down by Hodges. Works around the perimeter. Had a good screen. Sees an opening. Little shovel pass inside the cabins. He's going to fade away from Nichols. Nope. Tip is no good. Girardi has it stripped. And it's stolen again. This time by, was that Page? Harville. Harville. Harville gets his name in the scorebook. <coughs> Attempted shot put up by Owen Treat. He's going to be fouled by Cavins. And Cavins got to look, put his hand on his chest. Me? Well, Roger, you're going to find out. You can't spend too much time looking down to write down who's scoring because these teams get up and down in a hurry. Wow. So Owen Treat will go to the line to shoot two. You know, one of the things we've got to think about, maybe we can talk as the evening progresses. You know, they do pick an all-tournament team as Treat buries the first. Now, we have no say in it. Nope. But... Uh, you know, you got to think about some players you might think might have a shot at it. As Treat will have one more free throw. We've played almost three minutes, 5.17 on the clock here. Second free throw by Treat, automatic. He has four, and Vianna's jumped out to a 9-4 to four lead over Anna Jonesboro. With the basketball, here is Girardi. Come on the right, here is Harville. Now Harville works around the perimeter. Being guarded, penetrates, stop and pop from 13, airballed it short, and we'll go the other way. Kind of forced that one just a smidgen. I asked uh, uh, Devin last game, I said, you know what a smidgen is? And he shows, shows me like that. <laughs> I said, no, it's just a little bit more than a dab. And how much is a dab, did he say? <laughs> Not quite as much as a smidgen. <laughs> we go inside Buddy Clay, and we're going to get a foul. That's going to go on Cavins. That's his second. Wow. That would be a blow if you are an A.J. Mm -hmm. fan. So he said Noah Cavins might be one of those guys that could hear his name called later on tonight. He's had a really good tournament. Inbounding the basketball. They go inside to Clay, and he tries to put it up. Soft Travel. hook. And Ooh. they got a jump ball called as he turned. He had that ball just below his waist. Coaches always say keep it up high, and he forgot and ended up in a tie ball. We go the other way. You made the point about the all-tournament team. You know, I feel like there's a lot of these teams, there's two or three guys that deserve that nod, but usually you'll get about one, maybe two guys per team to get in. Right. Here's Page. Lob inside to Cavins. He puts it up strong. And Cavins has his second field goal. Nine to six. Vianna quickly down court. Top of the key. They go right wing with it to Weber. Or to Webb, rather. Bounce pass. Outside to Constante. And now Webb, they're going to reload the gun. Come with it on the right side. Here is Constante. Tries to drive. Nothing there. 
Out front to Nichols. With a basketball is Owen Treat. He sees an opening, can't get it, fires it out. Here's a three-pointer put up. Sante is low, is short. And Kevins comes down with a clear. 9-6. Vianna on top. We've got 350 left here in the fourth and the first quarter. Given along the top of the key is Harville. He goes inside to Kevins, puts it up short. Treat comes down with it. Lead pass to Webb. Webb is going to go, stop, and that's going to be an offensive foul as he couldn't uh, put the brakes on. Dylan Harville stood there and took the charge. And so we'll get some subs coming in for uh, A.J. Number one is Evan Hall. Hall is a 5'9 senior. Wildcats take out. Cavan with his two fouls, going a bit of a smaller group here. And Aiden McFadden into the ball game. Here's the drive, a little prayer thrown up by Taj Hodges. Taj and it makes Hodges. it a 9-8 ball game. Diana still on top, they come with it on the right wing. Here's Constante, works around, they get, go treat open, he goes to the free throw line from 15, got it. Owen Treat. Owen Treat, just so smooth when he's got the basketball in his hands. And he is a possibility for all-tournament. Absolutely. No question about it. I think he's a lock. Here is Hall. Gives it over to Harville. Back out. Three-point shot put up and good. And that is by Todd Hodges. So he scored the last five. And we're tied at 11. 2.38 to go, first quarter. And here is, wow. Owen Treat, nobody picked him up. He said, well, there, let me shoot it. And he shot it from about 23, and it's 14 to 11, Vienna. Evan Hall crosses the 10-second stripe on the dribble. Tries to penetrate the right side, nothing there. Brings it out to Hodges. Hodges is going to drive, stop, and pop, and short. And bodies all over the rim, and Vienna com or AJ comes up with it. And what are they going to do? They're going to stop. Going to try and drive, and he is cut off. That's McFadden cut off out front as Hodges wanted a shot. They go inside. Shot put up by J.J. Girardi to no avail. We're going to get a foul against Vienna. Buddy Clay, that's his second. So J.J. Girardi will go to the line to shoot a couple. And uh, Vienna getting ready to make a sub. First free throw was off. That is 35 for Vienna. Nick Johnson. Nick Johnson. How would you like to have a 6'6 kid on the bench? What a luxury that might be. Wow. Some of these schools say, I wish I had a 6'6 in school. He is a senior. He got the second one. So Girardi goes one of two, and it's a 14 to 12 ball game. Vienna with a basketball and the lead. Constante up front. Tries to drive. Nothing there. Leaves it for Webb. Out front, Treat. Treat wants to clear everybody out. Comes over to Constante. He tries to drive, put it up and in. Nice drive by Constante. Left side, used the right hand, got in. Ooh, get a foul. And who are they going to call it on? As uh, Treat is on the floor. Harville, offensive foul. Offensive foul on Harville. And uh, Coach Chamnus wants an explanation. Mark Goldman, the official, along with Kevin Lewis and Chris Mosier, the three men in the stripes tonight. Here is Treat, long three from the Eagle. Wow. Well, it's taken Owen Treat a while to get going in their first three games. Not tonight, came out on fire. Well, he already has 12. With a basketball here on the left side, here is McFadden, tries to drive inside of Girardi. He's going to be double teamed, lost control of the basketball, but into the hands of McFadden. That ball is blocked by Vienna, Hunter, or uh, by Nichols. Trying to get a little bit too fancy and mishandled the ball. Vienna did on the fast break. And it'll go back to the Wildcats of Anna Jonesboro. They trail right now 19 to 12, one minute left here, opening quarter. And coming right down. Three-point shot put up by Harville is no good. Lead pass to Webb. Webb leaves it for... Oh, it's going to be an offensive foul. A great move there by Nick Johnson. And it's going to be an offensive foul. He just ran over somebody. 
whoever it was, you got to uh, applaud him. He took the charge on the 6'6 senior. He's a healthy body. All right, into the offensive end. Here is Evan Hall. Has a double screen out front. Kicks it off, shot put up by Harville. Will not go, and a rebound is controlled by the Eagles. Quick outlet pass ahead to Webb. He's gonna stop, put it up in traffic, it won't go. Rebound inside, and we got a jump ball as Johnson grabbed the rebound, brought it down to his knees, and it's a little guard's fantasy dream when you see that happening. 29 seconds remained here in the opening quarter, 19 to 12. Vianna with the lead and the basketball. A treat, top of the key, drive, left elbow, little back door, and a shot put up by Johnson is too hard. We got another foul. And I believe that's going to be on Girardi. And JJ picks up number two. Second foul on Girardi and fifth on AJ. So we'll have free throws. And we've got uh, for Vianna, Jacob Waters in the ball game. 6'3", Junior, and Job Winterrod. He's had quite a bit of action here in this tournament. Played very well off the bench earlier this morning. So at the free throw line is gonna be Dayton Nichols. He's gonna shoot a couple. Both teams are over the limit. And the Southpaw drills it. He will have one more, 20 to 12. And you're getting an idea of how Vianna averaged over 70 a game. Yeah, 20 already here in the first. 21. Wow. Back to back. And coming into the bank game, Jacob Waters. So 20 seconds remain, 21-12. Vianna on top of AJ on the right side to McFadden. Now Harville, Girardi. Harville, free throw line extended. He's going to drive, stop, put up a prayer, didn't get it, got the rebound, came right back and made him pay. Two seconds. Owen Treat is going to fire from 30 and hit it. Oh, my. Owen Treat putting on a shooting exhibition. And that ends the first quarter of play with a score. The Vianna Eagles 24, the Anna Jonesboro Wildcats 14. Back in one minute. Revolutionize your welding experience at Extreme Welding and Machine Services. Highway 45, El Dorado, the hub for all things welding. Front Retail Store is your one-stop shop featuring welding rods, wires, hydraulic hoses, fittings, welding gases, and abrasives. Illinois certified inspection lane, hydraulic cylinder repair, and much more. Metal sold by the foot and industrial gases without leasing agreements. Own your tank, pay only for contents. Join Extreme Welding and Machine Services, a family-owned haven for all welding enthusiasts your partner in auto repair that's cherry street automotive in carmi you get service expertise and i promise you'll drive away satisfied complete engine and body repair 24-hour a day wrecker and towing service tires from sales and service and repair including muffler service brakes shocks suspension and more when quality counts Count on Cherry Street Automotive in Carmine, your partner in auto repair. Call 382-7165 today. Wildcats have the possession arrow beginning the second Wildcat basketball at the top of the key. They come with it. Trying to make some room as McFadden. He throws up a floater, will not go, and going high for the rebound is Nick Johnson. And almost threw it away, and they said, yep. Trying to get an outlet pass to uh, Owen Treat and threw it over his head. And yeah, Nick Johnson just turned and threw that one right into the stands. Treat gave it a good hustle, but step on the line. Treat said, I'm only 6'2", not 6'5". A.J. will inbound the basketball. <clears throat> Drew Page has it lobbed inside the Cavins, trying to back his way in, can't do it. So he was too far under the goal. Here comes Treat leading the charges. Eagles flying. Hesitation dribble goes inside everybody's hands, and it's picked up by the Cats. Here comes McFadden, tries to save it, and he does, and now in the hands of Harville. 
Loses his balance and it's picked up and stolen by Wallerod. Or Witterod, rather. 24-14, we're a minute into the quarter of number two. Skip pass to Treat. Owen Treat, they held him to 15 in the first quarter. Here's a drive down on the left side. Winterrod is going to try and drive. Leave it for Treat. Dead corner. Will not go. Rebound by Vienna. They kick it back out. Inside. Here's a shot put up at in. Boy, a little shucking and jiving there by Dayton Nichols. And it's up to 26 to 14. Vienna just makes it look so smooth offensively. They've got some talent. We've got a foul. It's going to be on Kevin's. Team control foul. And That's Mike, his third. Yeah, Mike Chambers wants an explanation. Chris Mosier says he threw an elbow as he went through. That's a big blow if you're a Wildcat fan. Six AJ turnovers in this half. Wow. Treat, bring the ball down the court, tells people where to go. Gives it to Webb, down deep in the right corner. He's gonna drive, bounce pass, shot up. Will not go by uh, Josh Waters, or Jacob Waters. That was a heck of a pass that he made. And yet still Abel Waters was able to catch it and put it up. Shot was missed as he was hampered. Waters has played some big minutes off the bench for Viano. You know, we talked about the all tournament team. If they had an all sixth man team, guys off the bench, I gotta put Jacob Waters in there. He's done some good things for Viano. As uh, Waters, they list him 6-3 and a junior, so he's going to be back again next year. Second free throw. Missed it. Rebound pulled down by the Wildcats. That's McFadden with a basketball. Way down in the corner to Page. Back out. A lot of skip passing. That's horrible. He wants the shot, but he's going to back it back out and give it the top of the key to Hall. Evan Hall between the circles. Leave it for McFadden. He's going to drive. Good bounce pass to Girardi. And a good head fake. And got a couple of bodies in the air. And he drew the foul. No free throws. 27-14. Vienna up by 13. We're at 545 before the half. McFadden kicks it back out. Turnover. And I look down. Pass went in the corner, and it was, uh, I believe, Page coming around a screen. Ball was just too far out of reach. We had a bounce. Oh, and Treat will cross the 10-second stripe. With it on the right side to Webb. Webb trying to drive, sees it. Oh, he oh! a two-handed slam. Boy, where did that come from? Hunter Webb at six feet. And with that, Anna Jonesboro wants a timeout. They trail by 15, back in one minute. Before you drive a nail, drive to Carmi Lumber. From cabinets and flooring, doors and paint, lumber and hardware, to shingles and siding. Knowledgeable and friendly staff that have your back on all those home projects and even deliver to your door. So before you drive a nail, drive to Carmi Lumber for the woods, the goods, and the know-how. Visit Carmi Lumber, North 3rd Street in Carmi and CarmiLumber.net. Welcome to Pro Rehab Carmi, where our passion is getting you back to life faster. It is our privilege to walk with you every step of the way using evidence-based treatments specifically created just for you. Whether it's sports, general orthopedics, or pelvic floor rehab, you are in the right hands. Your results are worth fighting for, and our team fights for you. Call 384-7872 or visit Pro Rehab on Main in Carmi and get back to life faster. All right, back here again. Boy, I tell you what, that slam by Hunter Webb, that came out of nowhere. Well, I've seen him a couple of times during warm-ups. He's got some hops. And what, he's only, what, six foot? Six feet so, tall. So, talk about some bunny legs. Showed it off right there. I tell you, at the angle he had, he came from the side, not over the, over the top. And with both hands, there was no doubt about it. Pressure in the backcourt. AJ gets it up into their offensive end and has it stolen away. And the foul is going to be charged to Waters. He turns around and he says, are you kidding me? Really? Well, that may not be an exact quote, but uh, A.J. Basketball underneath their own goal. And somehow Harville got wide open. Nobody close to him. 
He picks up his fifth and sixth point of the ball game. Three. On the left side, ball goes out of bounds. We've got another one in. I don't seem to have him down. Number four, yeah, Hole Hubner. We've seen him quite a bit. Mm -hmm. He snuck in there on us. Here is Treat, right side. He's going to stop, kick it back out to Hole Hubner. At the elbow, uh, lost control of it, and we got a jump ball. Stay on this end. Twenty-nine to sixteen. By in a, on an early blitz here. They put up twenty-four in the first quarter. Deep in the corner, they go with it to Waters. Now Winter Rod. Top of the circle is Webb. Long three. <laughs> Owen Treat, he's got 18. Yeah, Roger, I'd say Owen Treat probably going to get all tournament, <laughs> all tournament team. Yeah. Probably a good bet to make. I would think so. Anna Jonesboro with the basketball, and they have it at the top of the circle. Here is Hodges looking for somebody to get, give it to. Go inside to Girardi against Holhubner. And coming around, and a nice pick by Winteroud, but they said he got a little bit of the arm. So AJ will keep control of the basketball underneath their own goal. Drew Page will do the honors. Come down deep in the corner with it, trying to see what's happening. Here's Hodges, goes to the free throw line, leaves it for Page. He fires a three, won't go. Hole Hubner takes it out to Treat. Lead pass and drop it. Shot put back up and missed. Is a selfish play there, but unselfish as the ball was kicked back and uh, people couldn't get their footing right. Goes out of bounds, touch last by Anna Jonesboro. Viana's treat, will throw it in and then get it back. The top of the circle is went around. And he's gonna do a little dribbling and he's gonna go to the free throw line, pick it up and leave it for Waters. Cross court bounce pass, then back to win around. They give him a three, he's thinking about it, but he gives it up instead and goes to Hunter Webb. Underneath is Hole Hubner, and how he got loose. How could you lose a 6'5 kid? <laughs> and that makes it a 31 to 14, there is a steal. They give it to Treat, he goes back to shot put up and in, and Waters got it to go. Boy, unselfish play there by Viana, and all of a sudden it's a 36-16 game. We have not seen this Viana team play wow. at all this tournament. And there's going to be a foul against Winter. Well, I tell you what, when we had our, you know, our uh, preview meeting, I went out on a limb, and I, I looked for Viana to win it simply because of their high-scoring offense. And uh, they kind of struggled, you know, there in a couple of ball games, but... Uh, they're showing what they are made of. Constante comes back in for the Eagles. It's 36 to 16, a 20 point lead, and we still have over three minutes left here in the first half. Vina with the basketball, here is Harville. Coming around the screen, they kick it to Page. He'll fire a three, in and out, no good. And lead pass, and all the way underneath, they let him fake twice, put it up, Waters. Waters was patient. He waited, gave a couple of fakes, let the defense go by, and kissed one off the window. 38-16. Mike Chamnus walking the sidelines. Said, "What was going on here?" Viana's only missed five shots in this first half. You know, and there is a steal by Holhubner. Here he goes. He's got bodies chasing him, and he leaves it for Treat. Treat step back three, knocked down, no call, and we go the other way. Here is McFadden. Works, kicks it off to Hodges. Inside Girardi, trying to turn around. Ball flipped out to Page, trying to back his way in. Now the right side is Harville for a three, and he got it. And a quiet first half for Dylan Harville. That's his first basket. So Harville cuts it 38-19. Correction, he's got nine points. Looking right. at the wrong player there. Okay. I wasn't going to say a word. <laughs> Here's Viana. Waters has it on a post. He's going to drive, put it up, and a little bit strong. Quickly down court. Here is Harville. Drives to the free throw line. Nobody stops. Kicks it in the corner. 
And here is Page for a long two. And Drew Page gets his name in the scorebook. It's 38-21, a 17-point lead for a Vienna. Vienna seeking their 11th win of the year to go against four losses. Top of the circle. Now they go right side. Here is Treat. A screen and roll basketball 101 and gives it into Hub. Oh, and they call him for traveling. He got bumped underneath and gave a little shovel pass to Holt Hubner. But I guess before he could, he was did a little cha cha. Yeah, right before they got that pass off, just shuffled the shoes a little bit. Dayton Nichols back in the ball game for Vienna. As uh, Waters comes out. 38 21, Vienna by 17 here in. Second quarter, minute and change left. Long three is good by Dylan Harville. That was almost at the volleyball line. Quickly down court, 38-24. Hold Hubner high on the right side. Tries to go to the baseline, goes between the knees, trying to drive, and he's going to be fouled. And that'll be by McFadden. They call an offensive foul. They say it was out of bounds. Oh, okay. He said it was out of bounds. Turnover. Right. Okay, didn't quite see that. Of course, we're the opposite end of the gymnasium. Here is Harville. Goes between the legs. He's worked right in front. He's going to stop and pop three off the back of the iron. Rebound put up and won't drop again as cleared by Nichols. Hodges had a good look at it but wouldn't drop. In the offensive one, here is Constante. Shot put up and in the left-hander by Dustin Nichols. He has six down the length of the court. And boy, when it rains, it pours. Harville missed an easy layup. A little too strong off the window. 40-24, here's Holhubner. Six, five, they give it to Treat. In the corner, wide open. Here's a three-point shot and good by Marcato Constante. A three-pointer at the buzzer. And all of a sudden, it is Vienna, 43, Anna Jonesboro, 24. We'll be back in about four minutes. Need irrigation for your farm or logistics for your agriculture products? Only one name should come to mind, the Skates Group, serving tri-state farmers and agribusinesses for more than 40 years. And the only way you do that is by being the most trusted name. The Skates Group, a family-owned business treating customers like family. If you need irrigation for the farm, trucking to or from the farm, or river terminal needs, call the Skates Group, 618-968-2471. The most trusted name in agriculture. Holy pancake, Bat Dude. Our Bat Ride is a flat ride. No need to get your tights in a wad, my little robin egg. But I need that ride to impress the chicks. Hang on to that super cape of yours, bird boy. I've got this. No matter what mishap comes along, count on the dynamic duo of Doug Raber and James Cook at State Farm to protect your ride and your home, as well as life and health insurance and more. Doug and James and Albion and Carmi are your team to help ensure life goes right. But what about my date? Stick with me, bird boy. I'll loan you my bike. Roark Trucking and Roark Transport in Carmi. Driving the distance, delivering the difference. Commercial or residential. In Hydras, propane and fuel. Rock, dirt and lime. Parking lots, driveways and washouts. Farmers depend on Roark Trucking and Roark Transport to deliver their lime when and where they need it. Remember Roark Trucking and Roark Transport for your next job or your next haul. Fast and dependable. Call Roark Transport and Roark Trucking. 618-265-3665. Welcome to Taylor Eye Care on Falcon Avenue in Carmi. Excellence in eye care. From thorough examinations utilizing advanced equipment and technology to premier optical products. Here at Taylor Eye Care, we treat every patient like family, going above and beyond the expected for a truly memorable eye care experience. Simply put, we are excellence in eye care. If you're looking to brighten and enhance your vision, don't hesitate to contact us today, 382-4683.
show your Saluki pride. Get your Vantera Saluki Visa debit card today and your purchases will contribute to an SIU scholarship. Plus, use your card to get special offers at Vantera Center and other Saluki athletic events. Getting the card is easy. Just open a Saluki checking account or Saluki interest checking account at Vantera Bank. No ATM fees and more than 55,000 ATMs plus other great benefits. Stop by Vantera to learn more. Vantera, proud supporter of SIU. Member FDIC. Terms and conditions apply. See branch for details. I'm Jordan Hammersley, instructor for the Outfitter Wildlife Management Program here at Southeastern Illinois College. We focus on a three-prong approach to wildlife science. First, we cover all the legal aspects because a lot of my students would like to be a game warden. Second, we focus on the guiding sections. And third, we focus on a wildlife biology approach that is usually reserved for university level courses. Southeastern is becoming known as the Outdoor Recreation College. Visit sic.edu. In 1925, when Farrell Hospital opened, they knew that families in El Dorado and the surrounding communities needed a hospital they could depend on, close to home. Over the years, Farrell grew to meet the needs of patients. Today, Farrell Hospital has grown to offer advanced emergency care, orthopedics, cancer, surgery, imaging, lab, and more, always keeping more care right here close to home. Farrell Hospital, you can depend on us. 2023 is almost over. That means it's time for Expressway Ford's year-end sales event. Like brand new 2023 F-150 starting at $36,990 plus 2.9% APR for 72 months with special year-end pricing on all new F-150 crew cabs. Price is so low, we are not allowed to say. Go to ExpresswayFordOnline.com to see them. Now is the time to get the best deal on a new Ford from Expressway Ford in Mount Vernon. Expressway Ford, more Fords for less. All right, back here at halftime, it has been all Vienna. They led by 10, 24, 14 at the end of one and now lead at 43 to 24. They are lots of people scoring. Owen Treat leads away with 18. He got 15 of those in the first quarter. Seven points from Hunter Webb, six from Dayton Nichols. Marcanto, Marcante Constante hit a three at the buzzer. He has five in the ball game. Five from Jacob Waters off the bench and two from Tommy Holhubner. For the uh, Anna Jonesboro Wildcats, it's been Dylan Harville. He leads away with 12. They got five from uh, Todd Hodges, four from Noah Cavins, who's in foul trouble. Drew Page added a basket, and uh, J.J. Girardi added one. They're uh, Vianna's up by 19. So. Team stats there in the first half. Anna Jonesboro just shot nine of 25 from the field, including two of eight from beyond the arc. Uh, they gathered in four offensive rebounds, turned the ball over nine times, went one for two at the charity stripe. Vienna shot 17 for 24, including seven of 10 from beyond the arc, 10 of 14 from two-point range, and hit five of six free throws. When you're hot, you're hot. Yes, and it, it, I just told you if this was the Vienna team that played all their games, they'd be playing tonight at nine and not playing right now. It, this is the, the best I've seen them play in the last couple of seasons. I mean, no treat. Just almost like he's just playing in the park out there. He's just looking kind of like Steph Curry sometimes, just like he's kind of messing around, having fun, and, and scoring 18 points in the first half. Well, he got 15 out of the 24 in the first, then he came back in the second quarter, and out of the 19, he only scored three, but did a good job of dishing and fishing and let everybody else uh, contribute uh, in terms of that. So 43-24, we'll take a four-minute break and be back with the second half right after this. At Top Shelf Discounters, the business model is simple. High quality, brand new home furnishings at discounted prices. Top Shelf Discounters, 215 North Walnut in Carmine. Open Saturdays 10 to 2 and by appointment. Find Top Shelf Discounters on Facebook for promotions and giveaways. Conquer the cold this winter at your local Hux Market. Earn big rewards with the Hux Bucks loyalty program and save on fuel, in-store specials, and even catering. Download the free Hux Bucks app today and enjoy a large big swig or coffee for just 99 cents. Why are more people heating their homes with FS Propane? Because it's better to work with the company that lives and works in the same community that you do. When it comes to the comfort and safety of your family, you can trust Wabash Valley FS. We have highly trained service professionals who regularly monitor your system for proper operation, safety, and maximum efficiency. So you can be sure that FS Propane will leave your family with the good, warm feelings all season long. Call your Wabash Valley FS today or visit fspropane.com for more information. 
Sin Energy Partners provide fuels, lubricants, and propane across the tri-state, offering price risk management, hedging programs, remote tank monitoring, and more. Ask about propane budget program and scheduled deliveries. Call David South today, 812-774-6529. Evil Light Creative Studio in Carmine is a full-service communications and design consultancy. We are excited to make your design project a reality. Reach out to us to see how we can create something amazing together all within your budget. Evil Light Creative Studio, what can we create with you? Extreme Welding and Machine Services is hiring full-time heavy equipment mechanics and welders and a part-time crane operator. Complete benefits package including health insurance, competitive pay, paid time off, retirement, and safety incentive bonus. Apply at Extreme Welding and Machine Services, Highway 45, El Dorado, or visit their Facebook page, Extreme Welding and Machine Services. In business for 18 years and an equal opportunity employer. Your partner in auto repair. That's Cherry Street Automotive in Carmi. You get service, expertise, and I promise you'll drive away satisfied. Complete engine and body repair, 24-hour-a-day wrecker and towing service, tires from sales and service, and repair including muffler service, brakes, shocks, suspension, and more. When quality counts, count on Cherry Street Automotive in Carmi. Your partner in auto repair. Call 382-7165 today. Before you drive a nail, drive to Carmi Lumber. From cabinets and flooring, doors and paint, lumber and hardware, to shingles and siding. Knowledgeable and friendly staff that have your back on all those home projects and even deliver to your door. So before you drive a nail, drive to Carmi Lumber for the woods, the goods, and the know-how. Visit Carmi Lumber, North 3rd Street in Carmi and CarmiLumber.net. Welcome to Pro Rehab Carmi, where our passion is getting you back to life faster. It is our privilege to walk with you every step of the way using evidence-based treatments specifically created just for you. Whether it's sports, general orthopedics, or pelvic floor rehab, you are in the right hands. Your results are worth fighting for, and our team fights for you. Call 384-7872 or visit Pro Rehab on Main in Carmi and get back to life faster. Need irrigation for your farm or logistics for your agriculture products? Only one name should come to mind, the Skates Group, serving tri-state farmers and agribusinesses for more than 40 years. And the only way you do that is by being the most trusted name. The Skates Group, a family-owned business treating customers like family. If you need irrigation for the farm, trucking to or from the farm, or river terminal needs, call the Skates Group, 618-968-2471. The most trusted name in agriculture. All right, 43-24 as we get ready to begin quarter number three. Quick story, to, uh, Cole. Eating lunch, eating supper with three retired officials. Jim Collins, Terry Elms, Don Fodor. Ate lunch. I, they call them themselves retired officials. I call them a bunch of old men. But they'd refereed <laughs> together for 40 years, retired and done several games here in the tournament. So I sat down and they got to telling stories. One on the other are certain things that happened. And I've been told... There are stories I cannot tell over the air, but they were good. <laughs> they were At good. least you said that instead of going ahead and saying them on the air. Yes, yes. Well, they were all good. It was just uh, interesting, shall I say. By an, or A.J. Basketball, as we begin the second half, pass intended, bounce pass intended for uh, Cabins. And they call a foul on Buddy Clay, and he says, you got to be kidding me. When you said during the break, Buddy Clay hasn't scored a point. Well, he's been dealing with foul trouble. Got two early fouls. That's his third. Sort of inbound to basketball. They come out deep to Hodges. Down in the corner, then back to Hodges. He'll work around the perimeter, sees an opening drive, shovel pass inside, and a nice shovel pass to Noah Kevins. Kevins, who is hampered, hampered by foul problems. Vianna brings it up in the offensive end. Here is Constante, has a good screen by Clay. Out front, treat. Owen Treat getting people to move. They come in the corner with it to Webb. Post, post nickels up. Trying to go back door here in the corner. And now bring it back out and reload the gun. Way out front, here is Noah Treat. Looks over the situation. Hits Hunter Webb in the far corner. Webb's going to drive, stop, shake, pop, good. Hunter Webb with his ninth point. 
And the lead is 45 to 26. <clears throat> Girardi with it. As he kicks it over to Page on the right side. Cavins, Girardi. Hodges on the left wing. Quick three-point shot. Harville just came out of nowhere and buries a three. He has 15 in the ball game. That cuts the lead to 16. 45-29. It is Vienna of six and a half to go here in quarter number three. Three comes with it on the left side to Webb. Constante comes, or Nichols comes around the screen, goes inside to Buddy Clay. Out front, Treat. Has the screen, he gets everybody going. You go here, you go there. And Nichols up on the right side. Leaves it for Webb. Hunter Webb with the basketball, works against Harville. In the corner to Constante. He's gonna drive to the right elbow, stop. Leave it for Webb. He looks it for a three off the back of the iron. And Girardi goes high for the Wildcats, and they push it down the floor. Cavins was wide open, but they didn't see him in time. Now we go with Page. Cavins, top of the key. Left side to Hodges. Girardi trying to post Hodges up. They're playing behind him. I mean, Cavins trying to post Cavins up. They're playing directly behind him. And ball gets inside. Here's Girardi. He goes up and lays it up and in. Gets his first uh, field goal. And it's right in front of Clay. Clay could just go straight up. So it's down to a 14-point lead. A.J. not going away. 45 here is, wow. No, Owen Treat, he's got 21. He just makes that look so just like. It, it, it's like he's not even trying. No. Uh -uh. He's just skipping around, having a good time. Here comes Harville. He jacks the three, bricks it. 48-31, lead pass in the corner. And we're gonna get a traveling violation against Dayton Nichols. You ever watch Steph Curry play basketball, Roger? I'm not a big NBA guy, but Steph Curry, Golden yeah. State Warriors, the, he plays like Owen Treat, or Owen Treat plays like him. Just jogging around, <laughs> shooting threes, laughing, <laughs> having a good time, makes it look so easy. Wow. But it is if you're on, and if you're off, oh my gosh. Here is Hodges. He's going to fire a three. That won't go. Constante comes down with a rebound. He'll cross the 10-second stripe. Tries to penetrate. Take it all the way and one. Constante goes coast to coast. Gets the bucket and the bump. And he will go to the line and shoot one. I read an article about Steph Curry the other day. He said during the summer, he shoots 500 jump shots a day. In the, during the season, he's right at 250. I'm thinking, I haven't shot that many in my career. You know? <laughs> but Basketball I, shots or golf ball shots? Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. I've hit a lot of golf ball shots, but, you know, that's why he's such a good, good shooter, pure yep. shooter. It takes practice. You've got to put in the work. Lead is back to 19, 50 to 31. Harville trying to get loose. Skip pass out front to Hodges. Works around the perimeter on the left side, trying to post Girardi up. And he does a little shake and bake, shoots it too hard. Cavins is going to charge for going over the back. Good box out by Buddy Clay. That's that's his fifth. Noah Cavins is out of the game. That's his fifth foul. Oh, With wow. 3.58 to play. He is fouled out here in the third quarter. Wow. And he, timeout charge to Anna Jonesboro. We'll be back right after this. Holy pancake bat dude, our bat ride is a flat ride. No need to get your tights in a wad, my little robin egg. But I need that ride to impress the chicks. Hang on to that super cape of yours, bird boy. I've got this. No matter what mishap comes along, count on the dynamic duo of Doug Raber and James Cook at State Farm to protect your ride and your home, as well as life and health insurance and more. Doug and James and Albion and Carmi are your team to help ensure life goes right. But what about my date? Stick with me, bird boy. I'll loan you my bike. All right, we are back. After the timeout, 50 to 31. Cavins is gone. The 6'5 senior for uh, AJ finishes the night with six points. And it's a 19-point lead as Vianna's Owen Treat will cross the 10-second stripe. Guarded by Girardi. A little... Hesitation dribble, leaves it for Consante. That won't go. Girardi will pull down the, the carom. 
Now to Hodges in the offensive end. And they leave a three-point shooter open. That's Evan Hall. He buries a three. That makes it 50 to 34. These two teams have just about played even here in this third quarter. But they've got a, like that old Jerry Reed song, they got a long way to go and a short time to get there. Yeah. Top of the key, Constante looks inside the treat. He smacked in the face, give and go, lost ball on the floor. Little shovel past the Nichols, couldn't handle it. We come the other way, here's Hodges. Leaves it, left side, wide open is Hall. Can he hit two in a row off the back of the iron? And here comes Treat leading the pack, it's one on four. He'll stop, Buddy Clay runs the floor, gives a little head fake, puts it up, will drop, and Hodges comes down with a rebound. A.J. pushing it up the floor very quickly. Here goes Hodges, still on the dribble, out front. Shot put up, in and out, will not drop by Page. And 50 to 34. Here is Webb, he's gonna drive in the lane, put it up, nope, he was fouled before he got the shot off. Charge to Hodges. 2.31 left here in the third. It is Anna Jonesboro trailing Vienna by a score of 50 to 34. Lob inside to Buddy Clay and that soft baby hook with a left hand. That makes it an 18 point ball game. Vienna's largest lead was 19. Hodges. Left side, they come with it to Harville. Far right. Again, playing around. There's Harville's going to take a three. That rims in and out. Pulled down by Buddy Clay. Quickly up court. Here is Treat. Leaves it for Constante. He's going to go, and he is going to be drilled. Nice move. We're seeing a little bit more out of this Constante than what we've seen earlier. Trying to show a little bit of aggression, taking the ball to the hole. Yeah, he's kind of taking the role as Vianna's second scorer throughout this tournament. Hasn't had great shooting performances. Hit that big three before the end of the first half. Seven points in this one. And he will go to the line to shoot two with two minutes left. Third quarter. Here is the first. For uh, AJ, number 21, Graydon or uh, Dalen Butler comes in, has both free throws are good. Butler is a 6'4 junior. Top of the circle, they go with it on the right wing. Here is Harville looking, still on the dribble, still on the dribble, trying to get somebody open as Anna's doing a lot of standing right now. And you know that's a sign the legs are gone. I know I hate to be redundant about that. Shot put up is short. And back out front, Harville. Fakes left, fires a three off the iron. Pulled down by A.J. They're going to get another look at it. Trying to drive his Hodges. Stops, gets a man up in the air. Puts up a floater. That one is short. A.J. just can't buy a bucket right now. Lead pass to Clay. He follows up. Constante going to drive, put it up, and he's going to be fouled by Evan Hall. You mentioned the fatigue, Roger. Both these teams playing their second games of the day. Even Vienna, they were shooting the lights out in the first half. They're starting to get a little bit tired. Shots are short. And a couple of them thought it was Vienna ball out of bounds. But Constante said, no way, I'm shooting this ball. He is two, missed his last, made his last two, missed that one. He is three of four. Seven, eight, nine, chance to get here in double digits if he can knock it down. And he does. He has 10. Back in from Miami, two, Jacob Waters checks back in. 55-34, a 21-point lead for Vienna as we've got 60 seconds left here in the ball game during the third quarter. Here's a drive inside, ball is kicked out front, trying to penetrate, nothing there. Making progress is Hall, trying to. Leaves it deep in the corner for Hodges, he's gonna drive. Skip pass out to Harville. He's gonna stay outside the paint, bury the three. 
Good shot by Harville. That is his one, two, three, fourth three-pointer. With 30 seconds to go, 55-37. Almost a steal as the pass was a little bit high. Went through the hands of Dayton Nichols. Well, yeah, Jones for a little more energy in this third quarter for sure. And that first half deficit might be too much to overcome, but at least they're playing hard, trying to make this a reasonable game here at the end. Well, they've outscored Vianna 13 to 12 here in the third quarter. <sighs> trying to make a move, coming around the screen. Then out front, they come with it to Hodges. Leaves it for Hall. Dribbles around the perimeter, down to five seconds, four seconds. Hall is going to drive, put up a shot, and got it to go near the buzzer. Good move by Evan Hall. That finishes three quarters with a score of Vianna 55, Anna Jonesboro 39. Back in a minute. Show your Saluki pride. Get your Vantara Saluki Visa debit card today and your purchases will contribute to an SIU scholarship. Plus, use your card to get special offers at Vantara Center and other Saluki athletic events. Getting the card is easy. Just open a Saluki checking account or Saluki interest checking account at Vantara Bank. No ATM fees and more than 55,000 ATMs plus other great benefits. Stop by Vantara to learn more. Vantara, proud supporter of SIU. Member FDIC. Terms and conditions apply. See branch for details. In 1925, when Farrell Hospital opened, they knew that families in El Dorado and the surrounding communities needed a hospital they could depend on, close to home. Over the years, Farrell grew to meet the needs of patients. Today, Farrell Hospital has grown to offer advanced emergency care, orthopedics, cancer, surgery, imaging, lab, and more, always keeping more care right here close to home. Farrell Hospital. You can depend on us. Anna Jonesboro showing some signs of life there in that third quarter as they outscored by Anna 15 to 12. So it's a 16 point ball game as we begin quarter number four. Playing for hardware. Vianna with a basketball treat right in front of his coach. He's gonna drive the baseline, shovel pass coming to the goal and a nice left-handed shot by Dayton Nichols. Great assist by Treat. Quickly down court, here come the Wildcats looking to try to make something happen on the drive and down low out front. A lot of passing. Here's Hodges, sees an opening. Bounce pass on the far side to uh, Dalen Butler. Butler off the bench, gets his first field goal. 57-41. Viana with the lead and the basketball. Constante. Looks, comes right side to Treat. Owen Treat, looks. And looks, as screen, sets the screen, goes the other way. Shovel pass down low, inside three-point shot. And Constante hits the ground on a three-point shot. And getting there just a smidgen late was Dylan Harville. And so Constante will go to the line to shoot three. He has 10 in the ball game. Got a little balance, and it's kind of interesting. Treat got him going at 15 in the first quarter, three in the second, three in the third, and he says, hey, you guys turn it over, take it off. Yeah, and he's, no, it's, or, sorry, Owen Treat, as great as he is at scoring the basketball, is also very good at passing the basketball and creating shots for his teammates. We've been seeing that here in the last few quarters. First free throw is good. That gives him 11. Hunter Webb comes back in along with uh, Nick Johnson. And so Treat, well, or excuse me, Constante will have another one. That's no good. And jumping in there, getting the rebound was Nick Johnson. He gets his first. But that was on a three point shot. Down low, they go inside to Girardi, passes too hard. 61-41, a 20-point advantage for the Vienna Eagles as they kind of on their way right now, 20-point lead. And we've got six and a half left. Lob down low, inside, shot put up, strong move by Jacob Waters. And you mentioned him earlier. He's yep. come off the bench, done a good job. You're having a great tournament, great job right there in the post. He has seven in the ball game. We're gonna get a foul on Nick Johnson. 
63-41. Foul was on the floor. Inbound, out front. AJ with the ball, goes down in the corner with it to Page. And now McFadden. McFadden leaves it for Harville, nothing there. Now Hall. Harville right in front of Coach Chambers. He's going to drive. Finds Girardi open. Puts it up strong. Short. And coming down with a rebound is Nick Johnson. We go the other way. And Treat taken to the hole. Nope. They say he's going to be fouled. Nick Johnson, 6'6", and a senior. Tell you what, he's every bit of 6'6". He's a big kid, too. He'd be wow. a good NFL tight end. Wow, it's kind of like the old Roy D. Mercer. You remember those, just how big a boy are you? Ball is inbounded to uh, Hunter Webb. <laughs> Down low, inside Johnson, put it up and one. Nice move by the big boy. Used a little left-handed baby hook. Got his second field goal, and he'll go to the line to make it three the old-fashioned way. 65-41, 24-point lead. Biggest lead of the evening for the Eagles. And the free throw is an automatic. He's got five in the game. 66-41, 5-47. As we go the other way. <laughs> Here is Evan Hall. Works the right side between the legs. Leaves it for McFadden. McFadden in trouble, trying to find somebody. Gives it back to Hall. Throws a floater up from 12 and gets it to drop. <laughs> Hall off the bench with seven. And it's 66-43. Vianna with a lead in the basketball. We've got 519 left, and we got a traveling violation on Owen Treat. He kind of shook his head, and he said, yeah, I knew it. I didn't mean to. And went to go past the basketball and almost had a, like, a last-second delay or a change of thought, drug his back foot with him. So the turnover gets the ball back to A.J. McFadden will work it up. He'll leave it for Harville. Harville's a big gun, he's got 18. Has not scored this quarter, loses control of it. Lead pass to Owen Treat. He's gonna throw it up. Oh, Ooh. missed the dunk as he dropped it off to uh, Hunter Webb. Hunter Webb couldn't get it to go in. Here's Johnson, kicks it way back out. Fires it across, here's a three point attempt. And up and in, Jacob Waters. Man, he can score inside, outside, he's got 10. That possession right there kind of defines this Vienna team. 69-43, tried to drive, shot put up, will not go. And pulled off there by a Johnson. Quickly down court. Evan, Owen Treats says, hey, let me shoot, guys. I haven't shot lately. Only a second field goal this quarter. Makes it 71-43. One more basket, and it'll be a quick game. As uh, Vienna, the number five seed in the tournament, in the corner as they're gonna fire a three. That goes in and out. And rebound cleared by Waterroud. In the corner. Down low, we're gonna get a foul on Girardi as he and Johnson were battling for position. It is number 11. Winteroud will inbound it. Four minutes to go in this one, 71-43. Girardi comes out, and in is Dylan Butler. Dalen Butler, rather. <coughs> and they inbound it to Owen Treat. Dumps it off to Johnson, makes him look good. Boy, that's what'll make you a good friend. Johnson with seven in this quarter. We've got a running clock, 73-43. Here is Evan Hall. Loses control, picks it up, looks for somebody, finds McFadden. They go to Hodges, bounce pass inside, a good pass. And Dalen Butler picks up his second field goal. Not so, often you see a running clock here in this championship session, but my wow. goodness, what a performance by Vienna. How about Owen Treat? Buries another triple. Saving his best game for last. He's got 26. He just takes his time. When he wants to shoot it, he shoots it. Otherwise, he passes it off. And uh, he's got several assists, too. 
for Vienna. Tommy Holdhubner comes back in, along with Jackson Etheridge. Etheridge comes back in the ball game. I missed uh, Bianas. I mean, I missed Annas. 32 Foster Needling in the game for AJ. Okay, he's a 6'3 sophomore. We want to get all their names mentioned. It's interesting sometimes when a bench is cleared, and I'll, and I'll mention those kids. I've had parents or grandparents. Hey, you got my kid on the on the radio? I said, oh yeah. And Owen Treat comes out of the ball game. What a night he's had. Wow, 26. Here's Neatley. Gets it over to Hodges. Three-point shot put up. Will not drop. That was by McFadden. And here comes Constante. Leaves it for Winteroud. Trying to post up inside. Winteroud drives the baseline. Holhubner gives a nice shovel pass to Constante, and he got it to go. Constante with 13. And they have put some points up, 78-45. This is the Vienna team we expected yep, to see. Absolutely. Minute 38 to go, 78-45. Driving down the left side is Hodges. Nothing there. Tries to get around. He's going to be bumped. And that was 24. Jackson Etheridge. Uh, coming in, let's see, for Vienna. We got one. That is Braden Smith. And 21, Briar Cornelius. Shot put up. Will not go for AJ. On the right side here is Cornelius with the basketball. A nice feed inside to Nick Johnson, and he has nine in this quarter. 80 to 45. Out front is McFadden. And the ball goes out of bounds. We've got a whistle and a foul. It's going to go against the Vienna Eagles. As we're going to shoot some free throws. It's like McFadden will be at the free okay. throw line. And he will get two. Gets the first one. He'll have one. This may be the end of it. Clock winding down. 12 seconds. Second free throw is on its way, and he got them both. And Vienna will just hold the basketball as they win this fifth place contest by a score of 80 to 47. And uh, as a result of that, the Vienna Eagles go to 11 and four on the year. AJ goes out at seven and nine. We'll take about a four minute break, be back and uh, talk some more basketball. When you think of home, you think of warmth, comfort, and peace of mind. And that's exactly what you get when you choose propane from FS. With propane from Wabash Valley Service Company, you get our well-trained professional staff along with an array of products and services designed to ensure that your propane system is functioning properly and efficiently. Add to this a variety of convenient terms and ways to save money, and you've got the right solution to all your home energy needs. Call Wabash Valley Service Company today or visit fspropane.com for more information. Revolutionize your welding experience at Extreme Welding and Machine Services. Highway 45, El Dorado, the hub for all things welding. Front Retail Store is your one-stop shop featuring welding rods, wires, hydraulic hoses, fittings, welding gases, and abrasives. Illinois certified inspection lane, hydraulic cylinder repair, and much more. Metal sold by the foot and industrial gases without leasing agreements. Own your tank, pay only for contents. Join Extreme Welding and Machine Services, a family-owned haven for all welding enthusiasts. 
Need irrigation for your farm or logistics for your agriculture products? Only one name should come to mind, the Skates Group, serving tri-state farmers and agribusinesses for more than 40 years. And the only way you do that is by being the most trusted name. The Skates Group, a family-owned business treating customers like family. If you need irrigation for the farm, trucking to or from the farm, or river terminal needs, call the Skates Group, 618-968-2471. The most trusted name in agriculture. Holy pancake, Bat Dude. Our Bat Ride is a flat ride. No need to get your tights in a wad, my little robin egg. But I need that ride to impress the chicks. Hang on to that super cape of yours, bird boy. I've got this. No matter what mishap comes along, count on the dynamic duo of Doug Raber and James Cook at State Farm to protect your ride and your home, as well as life and health insurance and more. Doug and James and Albion and Carmi are your team to help ensure life goes right. But what about my date? Stick with me, bird boy. I'll loan you my bike. Show your Saluki pride. Get your Vantera Saluki Visa debit card today and your purchases will contribute to an SIU scholarship. Plus, use your card to get special offers at Vantera Center and other Saluki athletic events. Getting the card is easy. Just open a Saluki checking account or Saluki interest checking account at Vantera Bank. No ATM fees and more than 55,000 ATMs plus other great benefits. Stop by Vantera to learn more. Vantera, proud supporter of SIU. Member FDIC. Terms and conditions apply. See branch for details. In 1925, when Farrell Hospital opened, they knew that families in El Dorado and the surrounding communities needed a hospital they could depend on, close to home. Over the years, Farrell grew to meet the needs of patients. Today, Farrell Hospital has grown to offer advanced emergency care, orthopedics, cancer, surgery, imaging, lab, and more, always keeping more care right here close to home. Farrell Hospital. You can depend on us. All right, back here as we finish the fifth place game. And uh, boy, no question, Vianna come out of the gate, both barrels burning as they win an 80 to 47. Let's look at the scoring. Uh, Owen Treat, no problem there. He had 26. They got 12 from McCart Macanto Mac Constante. <laughs> Marcanto Constante, he had 12. Uh, Jacob Waters with 10, nine from Nick Johnson, nine from Hunter Webb, eight from uh, Dayton Nichols. And then two each from Buddy Clay and Tommy Holdubner. For the uh, Anna Jonesboro Wildcats, only one player, double figures, no surprise, Dylan Harville with 18. Then they had seven from Evan Hall off the bench, six from uh, Noah Cavins, who uh, fouled out early. Todd Havens Hodges with five, four from Dalen Butler, two from Aiden McFadden, three from J.J. Girardi, two from Drew Page, and after two minutes, it was just a matter of not who, but how much. Yeah, it was all Viana from the tip. AJ just had a hard time shooting from the field. And when Owen Treat gets that hot, there's not much you can do. Anything on stats or? You know, I'll be honest, Roger, I gave up about halfway through the third quarter. So. All right, well, then I guess I'm, <laughs> I'm going to take a break. Hey, we encourage you to stay with us. Travis Black's going to take my seat. He and Cole Carter will bring you the uh, third place game between the Harrisburg Bulldogs and the Carmichael White County Bulldogs. And I got money on this game. You got, got money on the Bulldogs? Yes, okay. I got money on the Bulldogs. All right, I'll take a break. We'll take about a four minute break and be back in uh, Cole and uh, Travis will take care of you. Why are more people heating their homes with FS Propane? Because it's better to work with the company that lives and works in the same community that you do. When it comes to the comfort and safety of your family, you can trust Wabash Valley FS. We have highly trained service professionals who regularly monitor your system for proper operation, safety, and maximum efficiency. So you can be sure that FS Propane will leave your family with the good, warm feelings all season long. Call your Wabash Valley FS today or visit fspropane.com for more information. Extreme Welding and Machine Services is hiring full-time heavy equipment mechanics and welders and a part-time crane operator. Complete benefits package including health insurance, competitive pay, paid time off, retirement, and safety incentive bonus. Apply at Extreme Welding and Machine Services, Highway 45, El Dorado, or visit their Facebook page, Extreme Welding and Machine Services. In business for 18 years and an equal opportunity employer. 
Need irrigation for your farm or logistics for your agriculture products? Only one name should come to mind, the Skates Group, serving tri-state farmers and agribusinesses for more than 40 years. And the only way you do that is by being the most trusted name, the Skates Group, a family-owned business treating customers like family. If you need irrigation for the farm, trucking to or from the farm, or river terminal needs, call the Skates Group, 618-968-2471. The most trusted name in agriculture. Holy pancake, Bat Dude. Our Bat Ride is a flat ride. No need to get your tights in a wad, my little robin egg. But I need that ride to impress the chicks. Hang on to that super cape of yours, bird boy. I've got this. No matter what mishap comes along, count on the dynamic duo of Doug Raber and James Cook at State Farm to protect your ride and your home, as well as life and health insurance and more. Doug and James and Albion and Carmi are your team to help ensure life goes right. But what about my date? Stick with me, bird boy. I'll loan you my bike. 